So nanobore sequencing has allowed us really to take the lab really outside. And for this, we have developed our suitcase lab where we can do nanobore sequencing directly on site. Why on site? On site, because if you transport the sample from outbreak situation or from the site where you analyze your sample to the lab, there is a lot of possibility that the sample get deteriorated. You have a lot of problem of storage, transportation, and so on. But with nanobore, it allow us that we move our lab inside this suitcase to go to directly to the field and do the sequencing directly in the field setting. And for that, we use the suitcase lab where you not only transporting your sample, but actually doing the sequencing inside the suitcase and move to another uh, place uh, if you would like. We have used nanobore sequencing in, in, in many countries to allow this, especially in bore resource setting. And my colleagues and my co-partner from different countries will show you how we have used this during outbreak situation for microbiome analysis in order to perform uh, direct sequencing for mosquito sample and so on. And all of this has been done here in Germany and other country in Africa and in Asia. In another big project we have with one German and seven sub-Saharan partners, we identify antimicrobial resistance in poultry, human and livestock. Here we use the suit suitcase lab together with nanopore sequencing to take the diagnostic test directly into the stable or at the point of need um, to make diagnostic much faster. Antimicrobial resistance is a huge uh, problem for public health systems worldwide. Antibiotics are indispensable for medical treatment, but the misuse or overuse leads to the adaption of the pathogen so that the drug is no longer effective. The huge advantage we have using the suitcase lab together with the nanopore sequencing is that we don't have to use culture techniques like the disk diffusion test, um, and we can take the whole diagnostic directly into the field or into the stable or where, wherever it is needed. In order to achieve purified DNA in the field that we can use for sequencing, we use a rapid extraction approach. At the center of this approach are the magnetic beads, which use a so-called reverse purification system, which means that all of the inhibitors um, are caught within the magnetic beads. And um, when attaching those beads to a magnet, the left of supernatant uh, contains all of the DNA and RNA that we will use for sequencing. Um, Apart from this, we have lysis buffer, we have proteinase K, we have, a, we have a, let's say, glass piece that can disrupt your tissue within the sample. And all of this is, is um, at the same time in the same tube. So it's an all-in-one approach um, and takes about 20 minutes to uh, process, proceed um, with, the, with the extraction. This rapid extraction approach is essential when working in the field because it um, allows you to proceed all of these steps without um, heavy equipment um, and you can process all kinds of different samples so for example tissue samples for from leishmania cases or even uh, mosquito samples to to sequence those individuals so um, the dna that you can achieve with this uh, extraction protocol is um, purified enough to directly sequence within your uh, device and offer really accurate results so the sample uh, to result time is really um, decreased um, throughout this rapid extraction. A huge advantage of the nanopore sequencing is that we can use rapid barcoding. This means that we can um, add a barcode to a specific, specific sample and then we can multiplex different samples all together. This is a huge uh, reduction of time and as well as laboratory equipment. Data analysis is uh, the most crucial step in the, the whole sequencing uh, process. And when we're taking this platform into the field, we want to do the actual data analysis also in the field directly. So for that, it's important to have a software that can function um, easily also offline. Um, and what we do uh, in one of our projects, for instance, we uh, want to 
sequence uh, mosquitoes directly on site, uh, directly from the traps, so to speak, up until the data analysis. So uh, the software that we're using is quite user friendly and um, for that even non-bioinformaticians can, can play with the data. And what we do is uh, we analyze the data directly in the software, in the laptop that you, you take with you, with the whole setup. And we've developed three different pipelines with three different databases um, where we can detect pathogens that are present in the mosquito samples. We can uh, detect blood meals, possible blood meals that are uh, in those mosquitoes. So let's say which animal uh, was, was bitten. And um, we can even detect the mosquito species, right? So that's um, uh, those are three three approaches that you can um, you can test. You can uh, analyze it directly um, in the suitcase lab uh, with your sequencing data. And so this is this is a viable tool, a viable option to um, to use the whole platform as an early warning uh, surveillance tool for um, vector-borne diseases and even exotic, uh, um, invasive mosquito species that maybe are present in new areas. In the Department of Animal Health and Safety of Animal Products of the Institute for Studies and Promotion of Animal Exports, we are using the Oxford Nanopore Sequencing te Technology in conducting some research projects. This technology is integrated in the mobile suitcase lab. I used the Munayan NK1C device in my PhD for whole genome sequencing of mycobacterium avian subspecies paratuberculosis isolated from different species of animals, including cattle, sheep, goats, camels, and also humans. I have used the Oxford nanopore sequencing technology to investigate the fecal microbiome uh, in samples obtained from human and from cattle as a main part of my PhD. Uh, the use of Minayan MK1C device facilitates the metagenomic analysis of the samples in a short period of time. Also, the epitome solutions provided uh, the analysis workflow that give us or through which we obtain a real-time result uh, to a higher classification up to the species level, which was so useful in the downstream analysis of the results. This technology suits our infrastructure in the Sudan and we were successful in doing whole genome sequencing of some bacteria and also studying the microbiome of animals and humans. Diarrhea has been a major challenge and an important concern for public health. More than 1.6 million deaths occur per year globally due to this enteric illness. It disproportionately affects the developing countries, including Bangladesh, where the access to healthcare and safe water is an inadequate with poor sanitation system. Early and proper diagnosis is the cornerstone to avoid diarrhea-associated morbidity and mortality. The current diagnostic methods are resource and time demanding. Owing to inadequate access to laboratory exams, Diarrheal cases are often treated empirically with antibiotics without the screening of etiological agents, which increases the burden of AMR and its eventual transmission. To overcome the diagnostic challenges, Oxford Nanopore Technologies has introduced a pocket-sized sequencing device, or MINAN, which offers a feasible, field-deployable, and rapid sequencing option for the detection of unknown pathogens. Considering the advantages of this mini-sequencing device, researchers from ICD-DRB assessed the performance of this rapid sequencing device in suitcase lab to correctly identify pathogens in fecal specimens of diarrheal patients. The study team believes that Oxford Nanopore Technologies will advance the diagnostics for infectious diseases. Incorporation of the Minan device in the mobile suitcase lab will facilitate its remote applications.